Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is a bit of a different video than what I've been doing. Um, obviously you know about my Brighton uh, potential signings. This is a little bit different and obviously you can tell what it is by the title. Um, Stan of leaving of Brighton and Albion. I'm going to go through most of, well, all of the first team. And um, There's one or two players that ain't wore a first team shirt last season. But I still put them in here. Um, if you want to see another one uh, like the under 23s, then please let me know. Um, I'd be happy to do so. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first plan I'm going to talk about, Matty Ryan. Um, obviously, he's only been here for two years. Um, you know, so I can't see him going anywhere, so I reckon he's going to stay. And bearing in mind, well, I just remember this is for the whole year. So, you know, even the players I've got leave down here have got the next window as well. And just to also let you know, um, so I will get back to this in a minute. The players do return on into training on the 27th of June, which is actually my birthday as well. So that's when the boys get back to work. Um, but yeah, really I'm looking forward to the season now. Um, anyway, the next player, David Button. Only been here a matter of, of a year, uh, year, two years. Um, you know, nice guy he is. Um, you know, good keeper as well. Um, but where do, where would he roughly go? Um, you know, if I did put leave, which I didn't, so you know, I think he's staying. But where would he go if he did leave? Obviously, as I said, I can't really see anyone, but that's why I put Star on David Button. Um, the next keeper, yeah, didn't wear uh, a shirt for Brighton this uh, the previous season, just gone, but he does play for Brighton. He's been online to Wigan, and obviously, you know who it is, it's Christian Walters. Uh, Wilson, sorry. Wilson, Wilters, sorry for mispronouncing that name. Um, I think he's going to leave. I think he's going to be one of them players that we would do come in for and we're going to oblige to it. I know what an amazing keeper he is, but, um, you know, under Grand Potter, he's going to have his own um, team set up. So I reckon Christian will be on the way out of the club. Um, and I'm maybe thinking this window as well. I reckon they will end up at Wigan on a potential, um, on a full signing. Um, the next player is Jason Stills. Oh, now, obviously, we've only, we haven't had him that long. Um, ex Sunderland, which Graham Potter would have still in play. Uh, obviously, being ex Swansea manager. So, um, I went to stay with that one. Um, and I'm expecting our three keepers, obviously, Matty Ryan, David, and Jason. Um, but, you know, um, let's see where it goes. But I would be surprised if that's not the three keepers we go into the new season with. Um, now on to defenders. Um, I'm going to start off with our two centre-backs, or main centre-backs. That's had a lot of speculation. And why I think they're going to stay... Um, you obviously know who they are. One is Shane Duffy, which we've got to talk about now, and the other I'll talk about in a minute. Shane, you know, mid-20s, uh, he ain't gonna, you know, have... I don't think he's gonna get that club that really shouts, um, at, you know what I mean, like a top European club. No defence to Shane. Um, you know, he's a great defender for us. I hope he don't leave. Uh, but I can't, you know, the uh, a lot of speculation has been around no other defender, let's be honest. Um, but I can't see Shane leaving, which is yet again I've gone to stay um, with Shane. Um, the next one, uh, Lewis Dunk. A lot of speculation around Lewis Dunk this summer. Um, Rumours that Leicester are interested in him. Um... But in my mind, there's always two people in the football world. There's, pe there's players that go for the money, and there's people that stay for loyalty. Um, you know, we've obviously seen a few players go, 
um, within the previous years that went for the money. Um, you know, players like Will Buckley, which obviously got the potential to play Premier League football, so fair enough. Um, but I think Lewis Duncan's going to stay. Um, I think his loyalty at Brighton, being, you know, coming through the uh, the ranks at Brighton, I think he's going to stay. I think everything he wants to do, he wants to do it with Brighton Iron Valley. And um, the next one is David uh, Dan Byrne, sorry. Um, Dan Byrne, yet again, another one. Um, you know, he's on that bench a lot. But, yet again, who will come in for him? Um, you know, great defender what he is. Um, but, you know, it's one of them things where if he's happy to sit on the bench, then yet we're happy to oblige. But if he wants to move on, then, I'm, you know, I think the club's got to accept it. But I think he's going to stay for the this year. Uh, another centre back, Liam Balligan. Yeah, again, I'm going to stay with him. Um, you know, great defender. Um, I remember going to the England versus Nigeria and um, game up at Wembley to actually go see him play. The only problem was the end I was at. Um, England was shooting that way in the first... Uh, no, sorry, the end I was at, uh, Nigeria was shooting that way in the first half. Um, half-time came, and then they took Leon off at half-time. So I didn't actually get to see him play like I wanted to, but yet again, I did see him play. Um, and yet again, another excellent defender. I reckon he's going to stay this window. Um, now on to our left-backs. While I'm here... Um, did you know we've only got one right back and two left backs? That is a uh, pretty, you know, light on the defence. Um, but anyway, back to this. Um, Bernardo, excellent player he was for us last season. Um, you know, he, I think he played excellent left back, especially when he got down to the midfield area, um, helping the likes of Knockhart and Sonny March out. Um, You know, and I'm looking forward to having him for another season. So, obviously, I've gone to stay. Um, but, Bernardo, I think he is one of the, you know, one of the best players we've had um, under Chris Shooting. No disrespect to the others. I just think Bernardo really does hit the ground money. Um, but, hopefully, he can do it again this season. Um our next player is left back uh, Bong. Um, now we've all got our uh, opinions on Bong. Um, my opinion is I think he's a good defender for what he does. Um, but I reckon he's got to be leaving by this time next year. Um, as I said, Graham Potter is going to have his own philosophy and his own uh, players to bring in. Um, so I reckon Bung's going to be on the exit door. And I reckon Bernardo will stay, as I've just said. Um, but if Bung goes, I'd like to say thank you to Bung for every, like, special promotion season. Um, you know, we're able to fight to get us up there. I want to thank every one of you to get us up to the Premier League. But as I've just said, I think Bung's going to leave. Now I'll run right back. Martin Montoya, ex-Barcelona. Uh, I don't think he had a bad first season. You know, um, the attacking that Grand Potter does, I think he's going to stay. So, you know, that, well, I reckon he's going to... Obviously, I just said I think he's going to stay because of his attacking ability, the same as Bernardo. Um, where it's going to possibly be throughout the back crossing in the new season. Um, you want to know my feelings about throughout the back. I'm not that keen, but hold on. I think we've got the right and left back to do it now. Obviously, the last time we tried to do it was Sam Hoopier. Um, I think it was Kyle and uh, Bruno. Um, no disrespect to Kai. Um, no disrespect to Bruno or Cal. Sorry, Caldron left back. Caldron and Bruno. No disrespect to Caldron and Bruno, but I just couldn't do it. But if 
grand waters to go through at the back. I'm looking forward to seeing what we could do going forward. Um, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of mistakes we made last season. And especially if you look, when we were playing, look at the centre of the park, there's so much room. So I'm going to came in, took the ball and ran, but obviously didn't happen. Um, our next player is Bazuma. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, yeah, Bazuma, stay. Uh, no shadow of a doubt about staying, Bazuma. Obviously, he's injured. Obviously, he's going to miss the beginning of the season. Um, but what a great player he is. I think he gets the crowd going, especially with his chant. Um, you know, great young player. I think Chris done a good job there and our recruitment staff. Um, but yeah, on reckon he's going to be with us for the next year at least. Um, the next one is David Proper. Um, yeah, again, I reckon David Proper's going to stay, but don't be surprised if Proper comes to play up front from time to time. Um, you know, especially the likes of if we've got a striker or we've had a, or we've had a striker sent off, don't be surprised if Proper's that one that gets urged forward when we've got the ball. But I'm looking forward to seeing what David Proper gets up to in that season. Um, next player, Dale Stevens. Now, yet yeah, again, we've all got our split opinions. Um, but I think he's going to be gone by this time. Uh, by this time next year. Um, no disrespect to Dale. Excellent job. Yet yeah, again, thanks for getting us promoted. But I think uh, Grand Potter's going to have his own ideas in mind for the centre midfield positions. And I don't think Steve's quite going to fit it. Um, but yeah, again, it'd be interested to see what Graham does when they get back into training on the 27th of June. Um, the next one is Brown Kyle. Yet yeah, again, I think he's going to leave. Um, excellent midfielder he is. Um, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I just said why I think. These two players will be gone by this time next year. Every one of these could be won, by the way. Every one. So, you know, um, don't tell me to answer them. Um, but, yeah, Brown Kyle, as I've just said, I think he's going to be gone. I think um, Graham is going to be looking at, yet again, bringing another centre midfielder in. Um, this team is so light, I didn't realise how light we were in certain positions till I started running all down. Um, but yet again, Brown Kyle, I think, is going to be gone by this time next year. Uh, the next one is one of our favourite, well, one of our chanted players, Sonny March. Excellent winger, excellent. I mean, I rate this guy every time I see him play in the blue and white jersey. Um, you know, don't get me. Well, all the other, all of our players are excellent for us, I'm concerned. But I've been asked to do this video as well, so, you know, but I think Sonny March is going to stay. The next player is Paston Groves. Um, yet again, I've gone to stay, but yet again, I reckon he'd be playing in a different position than what he was under Chris Hewitt. I gone with a written down 4-4-2 that I might go over prior to the Watford game to see how close I can get to a starting lineup. Um obviously there's no new players in it yet, so that's what I might bring up in the Watford match preview. So but yeah, pass or growth stay. If he stays I'll be expecting him to come into the centre midfield position as well. So, you know, that's one of Kyle's or Stevens place gone just like that. Um, obviously we look at 4-4-2 formation as well now, so that's another thing I've got to take into account. Um, next player, Joe Jose Ischielo. Great uh, winger he is. Didn't have the greatest season last season, but obviously his first season here, he had an excellent season. Um... But yet again, I reckon he's going to stay. Yet again, if he goes, where will he end up? 
Um, I reckon could end up back aboard, but I don't think that's going to happen. That's why I've said stay. Um, but, you know, how many players are we going to bring in? Um, you know, obviously there's been a lot of uh, names we've been linked with. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where this day all goes. The next one is Jacobash. Yeah, again, didn't have the best season, um, but attacking threat, don't forget we're now looking at attacking manager, uh, which is what Graham Potter does. I reckon AJ will fit in there, and that's why I'm going to stay with AJ as well. Um, Anthony Knockhart, I'm going to stay. Um... You know, okay, you've all got your own personal opinions against every player, I'll, I'll understand. Um, but we're not quite going to stay again because of his loyalty with the club. Um, you know, we've had our up, we've had our ups and downs, um, but what not quite does with the club. I remember when we lost to Sheffield Wednesday in the playoffs and Bruno was crying on the pitch or in tears. And, you know, Anthony Knockout walked straight up to him and gave him a hug. So, you know, I reckon, as I've said, I reckon it's going to stay. Um, Lucardio. Whoa. <laughs> right, Lucardio. Yeah, again, I'm going to stay. I don't, I think this 4-4-2, I reckon I've got the front two worked out already. But yet again, as I said, wait till my match preview and I'll give you my prediction to the to the uh, team, but yet again, I reckon the cardio will stay, and I reckon you know, let's see who we sign up, and I reckon the cardio could start. Um, and donate the next player, I reckon, and donate is going to stay as well. Um, you know, he did have a, he had an okay season, I personally thought, but we, he's got he's got to perform better. But yet again, I think a lot of it is under Chris Hewton's tactics, um, which is why we, you know, sort of struggled in that area. Um, you know what I mean, like goals. Like, I think we're sitting back too much. But yet again, Grand Potter, new start, new season. So I'm really am looking forward to this coming season. But as I am donated to stay. Now the next player, Glenn Murray. Glenn Murray, um, well, I've gone leave, but give me a minute. I've gone leave because I think he's going to retire after this season. I don't think that Glenn Murray's got to do another year on top of this one. Don't forget, there's rumours of him leaving last, uh, retiring at the end of the last season, but he did that year. So we've got it for next year, but I think he will be retired come this time next year. Um, yeah, again, another player I'm thankful for for getting us up to the prem. Um, the next player is Tom Hamed. Um, now, you've all heard my opinions on him if you watch my Seagull Daily episode, uh, but I think he's going to stay. I think he will be. Um, let's try and put this in perspective. I reckon that Tom Hemmer will be on the bench but being only 32 I think we're going to get at least another two years out of him um, but yet again we do need to sign it we do need to get him to sign a new contract within the first six months between August and December otherwise he's, he's a, he is allowed to talk to other clubs so I reckon he will sign a new contract as well um, my last player uh, Shiloto out on loan, I think he's a brilliant defender, but yet again, I think he will leave. I think Graham Potter will have another right back in mind um, for Shiloto, but I think we need another two right backs, possibly a left back to go into right back. So, this is going to be an interesting season. Guys, my stay or leave video is now done. Um, you know, put all your comments down below. Definitely get involved in the conversation. I'm always interested in what you want to say. 
Um, obviously, I've got my match previews coming back. It will more likely be on the 9th of August, and then it will fall on the Wednesday instead of the Friday. Um, obviously, transfer window closes on the 8th of August. Uh, as I said, the players are back in training on the 27th of June, um, which is actually my birthday. Um, I ain't going to tell you how old I am, but... Um, but guys, anyway, if you know what to do, give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.